It's probably there's, there's like um, seven seventeen thousand vacant lots in Baltimore City, mm -hmm. and that in this particular area is pretty much de decrepit. Mm -hmm. um, within the vicinity of where our farm, our three acres, there's probably only about twenty houses that are like livable within those that vacant range. Wow. There's a new community that's built, but. I find that a lot, a lot of the times when they try to bring back these neighborhoods, they put in these new houses that these people that once lived there, they can't afford that anymore. Yeah. Um, I also did a, a search and I walked around the area and you have these corner stores that are labeled grocery stores, but they're not grocery stores. They essentially have, you know, potato chips in there, oodles and noodles. They have, you know, milk, whole milk. There's not really mm -hmm. a much of a variety to, to eat healthy over there. And I thought, after having the experience of working on a farm and being in a master gardener program, mm -hmm. why not we just turn this area into a vegetable farm of mm -hmm. rare heirloom uh, varieties of fruits and vegetables. It's really imperative that we actually bring this to this location where mm -hmm. not only Af you find not only African Americans, but mm -hmm. also uh, Caucasians, all, it's a multicultural area, but it's also where that you see a food source where they can actually eat healthy foods and right. be able to um, be able to just have a healthier yes, life. Have yeah. a healthier life.